All right, so today I am going to show you how I like to apply textures to either just one color or distressing the entire image as a whole. We're just going to use these same little orbs that I saw from a post on Facebook. And um, all right, let's get started. So I've got two layers. One is the top layer, which is the yellowish color that I'm going to be using with a few effects on it, just flatten, rasterize everything. And then the second is just the orangish color that I'm going to want to show through. So I have that underneath. Now these two colors would be used in the entire design to keep it as few colors as possible. Um, but with the distressing, it allows the, com the colors to come through, and even if they're not exactly, as long as it's that white, uh, the yellow, and that orange, you can half tone one or the other to make it seem like it's multiple colors within the yellow and orange spectrum. So what we're going to do is just distress the top layer, the yellowish layer, for, um, to bring that texture through. So I've copied and pasted the texture into the next canvas, just a second canvas here. And what you're going to want to do is go to Image and then Adjustments, Desaturate. And I'll just make it a grayscale so that way no colors are added along with it. It's just completely black and white. And this helps a lot for the levels process. So when you go to levels, this is where you're going to want to adjust it to make it just black and white. So as close to just black and white as crazily possible. So something similar to that. Um, just right in the middle usually works pretty well for a lot of things, but just adjust them as you need it as however much texture you want to come through. And once you have got it where you want it, just click OK. Go up to Select, choose Color Range, and now click anywhere where there is white. Leave all these settings the same. They all work generally just perfectly. I've never had to adjust them ever. So just click OK, and now it's selected all of the white. Delete, Control A, Control C, and then go to your new your project, and then Control V. Now it's just pasted this black right into it, and you want to just go ahead and resize it to whatever you want. Now what you can do is, if you're wanting to apply a colored texture to your image, you would just erase what texture you don't want once you've applied it where you want it and then just do a color overlay and change it to the color you want and then it will keep it just two colors the one that you are trying to texturize and then the texture color itself and I'm just going to try and get plenty of texture into this just pack it in so get the bounds as close to possible with this and I'm just going to leave it right there. That looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a tutorial, right? So once that is done, you control click on the image, the texture image on the layer, and then just knock it out from the one underneath. Control D is a quick way to deselect as well. So as you can see, it's just rough, but it gives you the idea. I've deleted part of the yellow texture on the top layer to bring the orange through. And all it has done is just erased the yellow. So you still have the one layer, it's just erased the yellow where it was, and the orange is shown through. Now if you look really closely, it looks like there's very little halftone that's going to happen here mostly because if you if you bring those levels all the way together then it will make it completely non anti-aliased so what that means is it will be exact black white and pixels now you do lose some detail with that but you still get to keep just having two colors you wouldn't have to half tone anything it would just be literally like going through and deleting one pixel at a time whatever texture you want. So no half toning would have to happen because there's no 
gradation between the two colors. And there you go. That is all you have to do to texturize it. If you were just wanting to texture that image over it, you would just do the color overlay for the color of, let's just say, orange, just somewhere in the orange area, and you delete as necessary. Hey, you know what? There's even an easier way to do this. I don't know what I'm thinking. Control click your image and then go to select inverse and delete from that layer. No. Go back. Excuse me, guys. I apparently have forgot how to do anything right now. It must be way too early in the morning for me. And then there you go. And now with that, you've got your texture applied and it's non-destructive. It's just right on top. Change it to whatever color you want. And when you change the color, it changes everything to that color. So the whole thing should be pixelized and shouldn't have any sort of gray. No, it looks like it does. So I just learned something new myself. Um, here you just want to make sure you get as many of those pixels to be the same color. So that will be in a new tutorial, but enjoy with that one. Maybe that'll help somebody. Have a great day.